Well, they said they were it, consulting okay. with us and they identified parliament as a stakeholder. Okay. But I don't think that, in, 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 in our view, we had put out a statement and I guilt strenuously that for Ghana to um, participate in a war, whether it is sanctioned by ECOWAS or not, you need parliamentary approval. Okay, if they come to parliament and the vote says yes. Well, then, then they would have sought the views of Ghanaians through their representatives. If you don't do that, you want to commit Ghanaian lives to battle. You know, soldiers are human beings. Some are, you know, parents, our brothers, and so on and so forth. You want to commit them to war. And you think that it's not necessary to seek the consent of the people who raise and maintain them through their taxes. You see, the war effort, we just displayed some figures. The war, war effort would require funding. How are we going to fund them? Assuming they were to move into Niger and the war becomes protracted. Yeah. So let me ask you fundamentally, after this meeting today, you did not change your stance. Not at all. In any case, we were not even invited to uh, change any stance. Okay, you were consulted. It we were consulted. It didn't, it didn't persuade you at no, all. No, 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 it, and it, it, and no. And if this comes to Parliament, assuming they, they attempt to that, you will vote against it. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, we have made our position very clear okay. that you cannot pitch Africans against themselves okay. to fight in a war like, I mean, at the moment, there is no humanitarian catastrophe in Niger. Remember that. Yes. We are the ones going in there to create a humanitarian disaster for ourselves. I, I don't think that is necessary. Okay. So